truest believers. I am Madeline Coughlin. And I'm Alfredo Ramirez. And this is Truest Crime, the true crime podcast for people who want to skip straight to the part where the bad guys get away with it. Truest believers, this isn't going to be the most thrilling of episodes. And that's for good reason. Today we're giving you a behind-the-scenes peek into one of the more bureaucratic parts of our job. A part that isn't thrilling enough for serial killer media, but still plays a vital role in our day-to-day operations. It's the The Customer customer Satisfaction satisfaction Survey. Survey. Once every 20 victims or so, we like to ask one of them a series of questions to get a better sense of our strengths, weaknesses, what we can improve, and how we can accommodate the victim a little more before we chop them to bits. Everyone needs feedback if they want to get better, so sometimes we like to remove the gag from the victim's mouth and let them speak their mind. You probably heard Kevin wriggling here in the background, so let's take out the ball gag and find out what Kevin here thinks of what we've been doing. Oh, oh God, please don't do this. Please, please just let me go. Please don't do this. I promise I won't tell anybody. Please, just please don't do this. Oh, don't worry. The survey will take no more than five minutes of your time. I don't give a shit about the survey. I don't want you to kill me. Just don't kill me, please. Oh, that... No, it'll screw with our sample sizes. Oh, God. I'm gonna die. Mm, Yeah, but before that, did you see or hear us coming before we ambushed you from a tree? Like how a spider descends on its prey. Uh, uh, No? Good, good. See, that wasn't so tough. Next question. Did you detect any odors before we rendered you unconscious? I I don't think so. No. Good, good. Good to know my prescription deodorant is working. Okay, doing well so far. Now, on a scale of 1 to 10, how scared would you say you were when we nabbed you? Uh, I'm at like a fucking 11 right now. Eh, we'll get to now later, but for now, how scared were you back then? Uh, about the same. Okay. If we would have worn ghoulish masks, would you have been more scared, less scared, or about the same? More? How about a Yoda mask? Is a Yoda something that would frighten you? No. Hmm. So you're saying that if a green wrinkled goblin descended upon you from a tree, you would be less scared than if it were, say, a scary clown? Yeah. Uh, Clowns don't belong in trees. But Yodas do? Yeah. I mean, more than clowns. Dagobah was a swamp planet. That makes... That makes more sense. See? What did I tell you? Oh, don't throw yourself a parade just yet. Kevin, you're saying it's more of a matter of context? For sure. I I feel like a a tree is more of Yoda's natural habitat. Now, if I'm jumped by a Yoda at a child's birthday party, that's a different story. And if you can manage to flop out of, like, a piñata, you wouldn't even have to stab me. I I would die right on the spot. I will fucking die right then, right there. No murder weapon. No DNA evidence. Unless, of course, we eat the candies while in the piñata. Hmm, that would be tempting. Yeah, no kidding. How do you bury yourself in fun-sized chocolates and not want to eat your way out? Hmm, that is true. Unless... Oh, come on, Mads. I know you've got something brewing. What is it? Tell me. Unless you do eat the wrappers. Delicious on the way in, nasty on the way out, but gets the job done. Oh, man. That's crazy. But it'll work. Kevin, what do you think? An adult in a Yoda mask flopping out of a piñata hopped up on fun-sized candies and their wrappers would instantly kill anything within, say, 500 feet? Maybe 700? See, this is why we do these surveys. You never know what you'll stumble upon. Kevin, thank you so much for your help and for your inspiration. Truly, one of the better surveys we've conducted. And as a reward for your cooperation, we're going to do you a solid and kill you off the air so people don't hear your gurgles and whatnot. Oh, man, that is so thoughtful. Thank you. Yeah, I figured you'd appreciate that. Nah, I'm lying, man. This really fucking sucks. Oh, well, I can't argue with that. (laughs) You had me going there. (laughs) Uh. Well, I hope this pulled back the veil on the process just a little bit. Don't forget to subscribe and follow us on Twitter at an audible cast. Then throw our whole podcast network a few dollars every month by contributing to our Patreon, which you can find at patreon.com slash an audible pod. We got to go, but don't forget, you'll be hearing from us again soon. (laughs) (laughs) Hand me the knife so I can kill this guy.